Strut and sway bars are the two most common modifications among car owners. Unfortunately, some people are confused about the strut and sway bar and think they are the same, but they are wrong. In simple words, the strut bar connects the two shock towers of the vehicle to improve the suspension and handling. At the same time, a sway bar is attached to the base of the suspension, preventing the car's body roll by moving the rod. Now, let's look into the difference between a strut bar and a sway bar. So, let's dive into the deep of this video. What is a strut bar? A strut bar is a body stiffening device that ties the strut or suspension towers together. Plenty of cars, such as the 2023 Nissan C, come with strut bars from the factory, but all cars can benefit from them. Unlike stiffer suspension, a more rigid body only benefits the car. It increases ride quality by reducing uncontrolled motions and also improves handling by making the body less twisty, which helps turn in and direction changes. Drivers will feel a rigid body the most over choppy pavement where the chassis is taking impacts and flexing constantly. Cars are always twisting and deforming as they respond to road surfaces, and that deformation is carefully understood by the engineers of the vehicle. Like anything in engineering, it's a compromise versus cost. Think of the body of the car as its own spring, or a guitar string. Impacts and cornering twist it out of shape and it has to spring back into its normal shape. Because the body of the car is functionally in damp, it can cause a resonance on several frequencies. The lowest frequencies manifest themselves as cow shake or general vibration, which is the actual body of the car ringing like a guitar string until it settles down. High frequency vibrations generally manifest as cabin noise, which is then tuned out with rubber suspension and subframe bushings. Just like tightening a guitar string, making the body stiffer naturally increases the frequencies of those vibrations, which puts them in a less perceptible range. It also makes the body more resistant to change and therefore more responsive when it does deform. Enter the strut bar, one of the most popular ways of stiffening the car body in a place that is relatively weak. Strut bars are generally a harmless modification, though there are some anecdotes of folks who threw the Cusco catalog at their cars. What is a sway bar? To be clear, they are very different from strut bars in function. A strut bar is designed to be inflexible, but a sway bar is specifically designed to flex. Instead of aluminum or normal steel like a strut bar, a sway bar is constructed of spring steel like a suspension spring, sway bars, which act directly on the suspension during cornering, have a very specific thickness and construction to achieve a desired spring rate. While a strut bar simply fortifies the platform on which the suspension is built, a sway bar is a crucial member of the suspension itself. It controls side-to-side -side weight transfer and the difference in ride height between two wheels on the same axle while allowing the suspension to behave normally forward to back. So which do I need to improve my car's handling? Well, they both do different things and achieve different goals. Sway bars will have a more direct effect on handling characteristics than strut bars will. But doing both doesn't hurt, nor does just one of the two. The most important thing is to listen to what you and your car need and modify it accordingly. If the car is wobbly and shaky over bumps with fresh suspension, then you likely have a rigidity issue that a strut bar can fix. If the car leans too much in corners or just doesn't have the right handling balance of oversteer, understeer, sway bar will go a long way to fixing that. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.